hey guys so it's my last day in keta and in this video i decided to bring you guys along to do something fun as well as showcase some very affordable accommodation that i found out about during my stay here i hope you guys find this video informative and i hope you find it entertaining make sure you give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already let's get right into it so as part of my shenanigans in the Volta region i'm at a friend's house a friend's grandma's house i'm gonna go kayaking i'm so excited guys i'll be doing a lot of worky stuff you know so it'll be nice to just chill take it easy and really take in keta as you can see it's super breezy out here because we're very close to the lagoon and look at this mango tree guys look, look how many mangoes there are on there so many they're not ripe but like you can tell when it's mango season they really enjoy our hair so these are the kayaks we've got we've got three of them there's one there one in the middle one over there ah, i am so excited to get the water i can't wait can you hear the chickens in the background what are they aren't they chickens what are they clemens can you hear the pork Oh hen. my god, they're which hen? They are not chicken. Chicken, there's a wife, like chicken here, like, like you guys, is, is he right? Is it chicken? You can hear the hen. What? Uh, chicken. I think chicken here, or should I answer? I don't know. We just, I just say chicken. <laughs> Please let me know if Clement is right. Guys, so we're off to go and do kayaking. The guy has made it, the driver has made it, so they're packing the kayaks and then we're going. See how far that we've come here we're off now the kayaks are gone so we're heading to the lagoon it's the singitude yeah for the beauty we bring yeah yeah all in my tea see how far that we've come here beauty i know that you're right there baby anything you want me i would do where i would do anything I just thought I'll showcase the place where I stayed all throughout my experiences in Keta here in the Volta region of Ghana. We're in a small hotel, very, very affordable, very central location. It's really close to the lake. It's probably about a five minutes drive to the lake. And to get to the beach, this is probably about 10 minutes drive. There's a few restaurants along the road. We're literally inside the Keta town, so it's in a very good spot. And the best part is the prices are super affordable so i just wanted to showcase the place to you guys just in case you end up out here at any point you can check them out the place is lagoon view hotel this is what the outside looks like as you can see they have a few plants out here and there are some out there, there are some rooms that are outside this is the main part of the hotel so they have air conditioned rooms and then they they have rooms with fans as well and then uh, they have rooms that are on the outside of the hotel as well. So these two here, are like rooms as well, and they're on the outside. 
So we're gonna go inside so I can show you what the rooms on the inside look like. We might check out a room with a fan and then a room with an air conditioner as well. So once you come inside, there's a little uh, reception area where you can sit and then this is where you stand to organize your room and stuff like that. Right there, baby, anything so room number one, the bed is a king bed, very big. There's a chair in the corner. They have an air conditioner as well. This is the 130 Ghana CDs a night bedroom. Has all the essentials. There's a TV right here. There's a fridge. And then this is the bathroom. The bathrooms are actually very big as well, I noticed. So there's a toilet here shower there there's a sink here and then there's a mirror here so the cheapest they have here is 70 ghana cds those are the ones with the fan and learn no aircon 70 ghana cds and then there's an 80 ghana cds bedroom as well and then 130 and then 170 and then 180. this is the 170 bedroom so as you can see it's a lot bigger in here the bed is super big you could probably fit like four people on this bed there's a seating area right here. And there's a little desk here just in case you need to work or you need to, I don't know, do something in front of a desk. They have a fridge here and then they have a TV. This is the bathroom. The bathrooms are pretty much all the same. They're all pretty big, very spacious. There's a shower and then there's a sink here mirror toilet all right so the 180 room is slightly fancier so you know, the bed size is the same as the 170 and then they have a sitting area just there table and then they sit another sitting area here if you want to do work they have a fridge tv fan aircon and then there's a bathroom there as well. I'm sure the bathroom is pretty much the same as all the other ones. Yeah, it is the same. Yeah, so I just got told that the TV stations you get in the rooms vary as well. Obviously, the more you pay, the more stations you get. By the way, we're in an 80 Ghana TV's room, 80 Ghana TV's night room. So as you can see, it's a little bit smaller. Well, not a little bit, it's a lot smaller than the 100 and 30, 170, 180, and it still has all your basics. So there's a wardrobe here, there's a little table here, there's a sitting area here, and then there's a smaller bed. This is probably a double bed, I think. Regular pillows. And then the bathroom is in here. As I said, the bathrooms are not too different, they all look quite alike. Shower, toilet, sink, and mirror. So we're in a 70 CDs room. The size of the bed is pretty much the same. The guy said the difference is in the type of bed that's used. The type of bed used here is it's the same size, but the type is, I guess, less durable than the other one. I think that's the only difference. Other than that, the, the 80 CDs room and the 70 CDs room is pretty much the same. The toilet and bathroom is also the same, let's see. Yeah. Yes, that brings us to the end of the tour of the hotel. So, the, the house that I was at when we went kayaking, they actually have rooms available here if you wanted to stay here in the night. So let's go and check out the rooms. The whole house is available for $4.50 a night, and if you just want one room, then it's $1.50 a night. So this is the first bedroom. The rooms are really big as you can see. They've got a king size bed here. It's enough space for like two people or even more. Maybe three people. They have a wardrobe here. And then this is the second bedroom. It's very big as well. It's almost like two rooms joined together. This is like a queen size bed, I think, yeah. It has a wardrobe here as well, and then chair there. It's very clean as well. There's a caretaker here as well. He took us kayaking earlier on, so 
He can take you around and yeah. And then toilet, bathroom. It's clearly a laundry there. And then there's another bedroom here. This one is the biggest room of all of them. Huge bed. Huge bedroom. Like this is just this room is like one person's house. It's bigger than a studio house basically. Really, really big space, very spacious. The, there's two wardrobes in here. I think this is the master bedroom, so there's a toilet and bathroom in here as well. And then there's a common kitchen, common toilet and bathroom. So this is the kitchen, guys. It's stocked with some basic stuff like rice and pasta and curry and stuff like that. Okay, and then in here they have glasses, wine glasses. They've got plates and cups and stuff like that. In here. There's a microwave here as well. More plates, and then there's a cooker right here. So all you need to bring is yourself, and that's it. If you end up in Keta, make sure you check them out. The prices are decent. I feel like the rooms are quite nice. Um, the information will be in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow your list and like these shorts. Follow your place, then you pay it then. Follow your place, then you listen. Yeah, yes, and follow your place, then you very much. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.